Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for the 15th of April. So we will tip you on down here and we will see what cards we have for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. So you guys have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups coming to the end of some cycles here for you guys. All right. Here we go, guys, as bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, clarified with the Three of Wands and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So um, with your shared energy, uh, you or someone you're dealing with could be self-sabotaging, could be cheating yourself out of your future, um, having a hard time manifesting and bringing in things that you are wanting and hoping for. Um, but it, that is going to change. Um, do not fear this lack. Do not fear um, not having enough um, because you're blocking your blessings from coming in. You're, you're sabotaging your future um, with, with the self-doubt, with the worry. Um, <clears throat> in your guys' past, you have the Nine of Swords here uh, worrying way too much about... Uh, about this connection, about this situation, about this coming back into a relationship, worried about if you're going to get the second chance, worrying about if they were coming back, um, and just allowing that that worry and that guilt and that that anxiety to steal your your future, to steal your your time, your your mental, you know you know, this anxiety and depression, it just was really stealing your happiness because you were worried about whether this person was coming back or not. In your current energy, you do have the Nine of Cups. So you are coming to the end of the cycle um, within this situation. Um, and you're almost there. You know, continue to hope and pray. And for what it is that you desire, um, you're going to, in your current energy, have to decide exactly what that is. Um, you're not quite sure. You're kind of up in the air about different things um, on what it is that you want. But just make sure that uh, you are not ignoring certain facts to make that decision. Uh, what's coming towards you is the Six of Pentacles. So you're going to find that balance again. You feel, like, you feel like you've been really out of balance in the past, but that those scales are going to start to balance out when you um, continue to work on yourself, to be patient with yourself. Um, continue to plant your seeds of intention and just be gentle with yourself. Be patient. It is coming for you. Um, Spirit's advice is the four of pentacles. So don't hold on too tight to your emotions. Don't block everybody out. Don't keep that wall. Oops. Don't keep that wall up so so high because, oh my goodness, because of things in your past that have hurt you. Um, don't block out your emotions or your feelings because you're feeling drained or heavy or, I mean, that's two nines and a ten now. You're so close to getting past this hurt but um spirit's advice is to open up to allow yourself to feel those feelings and then it'll allow you to lay that burden down it'll allow you to end that cycle and if you do do that if you do open up and deal with your heart and deal with your emotions and the hurt and to continue to work on yourself um and lay this burden of this past feelings down you do have a second chance with somebody coming in with that judgment card in your overall um outcome if you follow spirit's advice why is a judgment card here with the nine of wands so yeah you're feeling just really um you're really beat up by the situation that's now three nines and a ten allow the cycle of the past to close allow yourself to feel those emotions allow yourself to deal with the heartache and the hurt um, of what happened in the past and put that down oh, end that cycle allow that to come to a close Decide what it is that you truly want and are hoping for in your current energy and just continue to be patient and work on yourself, work on 
balancing your own energy. And that second opportunity is going to come back to you um, very quickly, actually. Yeah, you're going to get that new beginning with your overall um, energy. You're going to get that second chance. You're going to get that uh, new passionate beginning with the person that you are, are waiting for. But you have to deal with those emotions first. You have to deal with those um, those things that you've been burying deep inside. So let's get um, some future cards here for our water signs. All right. Yeah, you have to end this cycle. You have to allow the hurt to be felt. You have to allow this to come to a close. You have to leave the hurt in the past. You have to deal with those emotions. Um, and once you do that for your future prediction card, as soon as you allow the cycle to come to an end from this person that hurt you and betrayed you and just brought this heaviness to you, that is when they will come back. That is when you will get your new beginning. Um, and that is when you will get, uh, your second shot at this relationship. So let go of the stress, let go of the worry, Make a decision of what it is that you truly want um, so you can, you know, pray and hope and wish for that. Um, continue to be patient and work on your regaining balance in your life. Allow these emotions to be felt, to deal with them, to heal from them, and to lay them down. And that's when you get your second chance with this person. Um, but not until that hurt is dealt with and healed from will you be able to have this uh, judgment, this second chance with this past life soulmate. What kind of water signs? Yeah. Your card of the day is to free yourself, to um, take back control of your life, to no longer allow these emotions or these this person to have a hold on you, to free yourself from that energy and to begin to heal so this relationship can come back in because you are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations help bring the two of you together. Um, so release yourself release those feelings, allow those cycles to close. So this comes back for you, water science. So I hope you have a beautiful Monday and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.